Hello dear all, I am Santosh Wa and welcome to channel Learn English by Sandhya Wa. In the series of these videos, we will see solutions for 8th standard scholarship examination question paper 2022 mathematics section. So let's start our video and see the questions from 51 to 55 of set A. See the question number 51. 6.28 into 3.14 divided by 9.42 divided by 3.14 bracket square divided by 12.56 so in this question it is simple just keep your presence of mind while solving these brackets so here i will write here once again 6.28 into 3.14 divided by this 9.42 now this this division if we change this sign, if we take it multiplication, then this terms will go in opposite sides. Means 12.56 will be in numerator and 3.14 will be in denominator. 14 bracket square. Bracket square means 3.14 into 3.14. Isn't it? So this is a simplified. Now we can cancel this term 3.14 term and this one term isn't it because these are same terms and are in opposite sides of this bound. Now see once 3.14 and 6.28 this is also a double from this 3.14 so 3.14 into 1 and 6.2 that is 2 so we will get simplified as 2 into 12.56 divided by this 9.42 into this 1 isn't it now see once I can see this 3.42 sorry 9.42 and 12.56 can be written as or if we divide these two terms by 3.14 see here 12.56 if we divide it by 3.14 we will get here 4 isn't it because 3 4 of 12 and 14 4 the 56 isn't it so just divide this term by 3.14 we will get here 4 and just divide this same term this term by same 3.14 we will get here 3 because 3.14 into 3 that will be equal to 42 and here 9 isn't it this is a simple way simple trick so in this such examples we have to use such types of tricks only so here we will get 2 into 4 2 into 4 divided by this 3 and that is our option that is 8 upon 3 this will be the final answer and our option is option 4 so 4 option is our correct see the question number 52 the number of girls of 8 standard a division in a school of build is 5 more than half the number of boys if the total number of students in the division is 65, then how many girls are there in that division? To solve such type of questions, we have to make some assumptions. So let the let assume girls as x, girls number as x, and boys as boys as y. So this is our assumption. So from the first statement, what is said? number of girls is more than 5 than half the numbers so put this in equation how will be the equation equation will be x number of girls x is equal to 5 more than means 5 plus half of the boys boys are we have considered as y so y by 2 this is y by 2 means half of boys and 5 is more so this is the first equation isn't it this equation is very simple from this equation we can find what is y so y we y will equal to transfer this 5 here x minus 5 and this 2 here see these are the basic mathematical rules simplified ways so we will get y is equal to 2x minus 10 now one more statement is given there are total 65 students means summation of girls and boy will be 65 so with this equation two equations y equal to 2x minus 10 and x plus y equal to 65 put the value of y which is in terms of x here here though what will be the x plus value of y is 2x 
minus 10 that we equal to 65 then simplify it will be 3x minus 10 is equal to 65 so 3x is equal to 75 so x equal to 25 75 divided by 3 that is 25 very simple just you must be able to derive these equations so 25 is our third option option 3 is correct this is the question number 53 which of the following statement is correct there are four statements and options are given first statement is given the number plus 5 upon 13 is to the right side of the number 3 upon 11 on the number line you know what is number line number in number line is like this center is this is origin on this direction positive numbers and on this direction negative numbers on this number line first number is given 5 upon 13 and second number is given 3 upon 11 both numbers are positive so both numbers will lie on the right side of this origin but now see in both numbers the parts are different first number 5 upon 13 is a 5 parts out of 13 and second number is 3 parts out of 11 means if the one unit is divided in 13 parts then 5 parts will be the this number and if first number or if the first unit is divided by divided in 11 parts then this number will be 3 parts out of 11 so how to calculate which is greater just see 5 upon 13 and this 3 upon 11 just take the cross multiplication we will get 5 into 11 and here 3 into 13 so which is greater 55 here 39 so this number is greater so 5 upon 13 this number is greater so it will be on the right side it will be the on the right side of this number so first number will be 3 upon 11 and then second number will be 5 upon 13 so what is statement the number 5 upon 13 is to the right side of the number 3 upon 11 so this statement is true this statement is true that is correct in other words correct now see the now see here we are getting the answer directly here but just for our confirmation we will cross other we will check other statements also see the number 7 upon 13 is to the left of 0 now see here 7 upon 13 is positive number positive numbers always lie on the right side of the 0 though so this statement is false isn't it third statement the number minus 4 upon 13 and 2 upon 13 are on the left of 0 see here one is minus one is negative and other is positive and we know on left side there are negative numbers of 0 and on right side there are positive numbers so this statement is also false one then last statement the number minus 5 upon 13 is to right of the number 3 upon 13 now see here minus 5 upon 13 means it is negative number so it will lie, lie somewhere here isn't it so here will be the minus 5 upon 13 and this number 3 upon 13 will lie on the right side on the right side of this origin what is said it is on right side so this statement is also wrong because number 5 of minus 5 upon 13 lie on the left side of this number so remaining three so remaining three statements are wrong only first statement is correct so our option will be option one so option one is our correct one so the question number 54 7.5 into 7.5 minus 7 into 7.5 plus 3.5 into 3.5 divided by 7.5 minus 3.5 now see here it is very simple just follow the mathematical rules means first take the multiplication then addition subtraction isn't it so now see there is one more trick 7.5 and 7.5 means it is a square of 7.5 and the number which are the unit as 5 then it is very simple trick so here square of 7.5 will be 25 this point and 7 into next number is 8 so 56 so this will be the square of this 7.5 simple trick just write 25 and multiply this 7 with the next number that is 8 56 similarly here take multiplication of this 7 into 7.5 that will be the here 35 
then 3 carry over and here 52 then again here square of 3.5 means 12.25 5 means 25 and 3 into next number is 4 that is 12 put the point always remember to keep the point as there is one unit and there one one more unit means two units will be there after decimal point then here 7.5 minus 3.5 that is simple one that is 4 just take subtraction addition of this we will get 56.25 and 52.5 minus isn't it so it is 3.75 and plus 12.25 divided by 4 take answer here it will be 12 plus 3 15 plus this 75.16 16 upon 4 we will get answer 4 which is option option number 2 see here in this way we can solve here only one trick is there to get the square of similar numbers which are the unit plus 5 that is simple trick this trick will help to solve this such type of examples see the question number 55 the difference between the sum of three consecutive prime numbers see here prime numbers are asked before 50 and after 50 is completely divisible by which of the following options are given prime numbers means the number which is divisible by one and the number itself so reference is given 50 see here between after 50 and before 50 let's find the prime numbers before 50 See here before 50 number 49 but it is divisible by 7 so 49 is not prime number 48 is even number 47 is prime number there one more then 46 it even number 45 is divisible by 5 then 44 is even number 43 is prime number and before that there is 41 so these are the three prime numbers before 50 and after 50 51 is divisible by 17 then 52 is one number 53 is prime number then next number is 59 and then next 61 so these are the prime numbers before and after 50 so just take the addition addition of these three numbers is 7 plus 3 10 plus 1 1 and 13 this will be the addition of prime numbers before 50 and addition of these numbers will be 3 plus 12 plus 1 13 and this will be the 17 so we got the addition of prime numbers before 50 and after just take the subtraction subtraction will be 173 minus 131 that is 2 4 42 is the subtraction is and now see 42 is divisible by 2 then it is also divisible by 3 and it is not divisible by 4 but it is divisible by 7 so a b and d which is option a b d so fourth one is our correct option this is all for this video thank you